We will be doing a Cafe Dostoevsky kitchen standard FM without Mira and Aiko as requested by Yoshi Rainbow Six and Yukiteru had asked for standard strat. The two members voted out to make it a heavy vertical hold, so all the wishes will be fulfilled. Make sure to put the corresponding subtitles. Required operators Bandit, Mute, Pulse, Kaid, and Ella. I have planned to go for Mozzie and have Jammer plus pass set up on the second floor, but I needed a deployable shield, and Gershmat mines can be used for our own play as well. In short, we'll be having free to split defending, Kaid behind the bar can help for the pre-open hold bandit to kite trick the kitchen bakery walls, bandit will bandit trick these two walls in the prep, and pools will be moving around kitchen and freezer depending on the intel he is receiving. He will most likely after the first minute go to the freezer and have roamers to contest the freezer push, if happens as you don't have anyone in the T. Reinforcements We will have 2, 4, 6 and 7 reinforcements in the basement and the rest free reinforcements are in the fireplace hall. The fireplace ones are pretty much common, aiding your roamers to rotate more fluently. The kitchen ones, this one is for the pulse and bandit when bandit tricking, and these two are also common. Main gadgets, bandit. Put two by the prep walls and keep the other two with yourself, depending on the pulse's information. You will put them accordingly. You will want to waste as much EMP as possible, so you don't need to actively bend the trick the kitchen walls or the freezer walls depending on the pulse. One kite electro claw can be put by the kitchen wall, so that is already second EMP if bakery push. If bakery push is happening, the second electro claw depends on the pulse information. Mew jammer can be put one behind the LS deployable shin in the bakery. The other one is to assist kite. The third one on the second floor reading and we'll put our last jammer in the train. This solid wall will not allow them to destroy a jammer from the balcony. Two allows Grishman mines will be aiding Kaid, one by the freezer hallway and the second one by the T's window. Secondary gadgets. We'll have two barred wires from the bandit, one by the red hallway, mostly to aid Kaid, and the other one by the way stairs, so in case pulls cannot help you out for the top push call, the barred wire will. A bulletproof camera from the mute can be put in the T. A deployable shield from Ella put it exactly like this, so Bandit can play a bit more aggressively and pull back later on and not be picked from this door. Positions. Basically, I told you already the position of the first four places, so let's repeat. Bandit by the prep walls, later on kitchen walls, then Bandit shrieking. Kite behind the bar can and should help Bandit to Bandit trick the wall. Pulse is rotating a lot during the very start. The destroy camera can already give you a lot of information what attackers will do. He will help Bandit and Kite coordinate their first wall hold, as well as help roamers to hold second floor. Speaking of roamers, your two main rooms will be fireplace and reading, alongside with this hallway, but overall you can be anywhere with the mute and Ella. Rotations, reading towards the hallway, because then you have an easier rotation from the first place to reading. Your rotation is not exposed from the wide stairs. Also, you can open up the rotation between the train and the fireplace, so the angle from the balcony does not shut down the only crouch rotation between these two rooms. You will have a standard line of sight on the nine plant, as well as the prep push. Speaking of the nine plant, we will have horizontal line of sight from the kitchen service to cooking, a common one, as well as the service to rest stairs middle. I have forgot to mention one more rotation for Kaid between bar and the service, so he can easier help Bandit to Kaid trick the walls. The logic behind this threat. The brain of your defense is pulse. With the pulse's information, whether it be an actual information or no information at all, you still gain a lot. If pulse is pulsing by the freezer wall and see no pulses, that means they are either pushing bakery or top floor. If they'll be pushing bakery, pulse has a freedom to move between the sides and check if bakery push is happening. If it is not, then you know what is left. Kaid, on the other hand, seems too exposed, right? However, that is simply not true. He can be only pushed through this lobby's double door, which is not a solid idea for takers, and Kaid has all the advantage in the world. The freezer hallway consists of the Ella Grishmont mine and pulse scanner, so Kite cannot be pushed from there. The T window consists of the Grishmont mine, 
the red holder consists of the barbed wire, a bulletproof camera in the T, and the line of sight from the servers to main stairs. You don't need to have a dedicated person there, but once Bendy gets back, you will. Kite. To kite trick the wall simply has to crouch his way to the holes above his head, through the claw and go back. And that's the third EMP. And then, Bandit can simply put the charge and fall back. The wall cannot be opened if roamers are still there. Speaking of roamers, roamers have a great line of sight to deny any hardcore push to get the Bandit charge from the prep. And the line of sight are from the terrain, say from the balcony. If no one is but the balcony, they can even contest them by the red hallway, but it is not required. Also, roamers plus pulse is always a deadly combo, and most of the second floor is actually your playground. What to do if A. Bakery push. Make sure to waste as much EMP as possible. Make sure to destroy as much bakery drones as possible as well. If two MP is very used to get a prep wall, pull back. Put a claw by the kitchen walls and then you should have won the round. Either way, attackers should not be able to win the round just by pushing the bakery, because they won't be able to open the kitchen wall. And as attackers will be tunneling themselves with the prep and you have crossfires on the roamers on the top and the kitchen. B. Roam clear. Well, it really depends on how good your pulls and roamers are. If they're extremely good, you will have easy time contesting their roam hunt. Don't be afraid to be with pulls over here to get as much info as possible. If a systematically roam clear is happening, that means at least 3 if not 4 attackers are occupied with your roamers, so having pulls rotating through the objective is recommended. You will know exactly where attackers are and you have 2 roamers to coordinately take them down. C. Freezer push. This cooled and will be an issue, it still requires a somewhat roam clear, at least to clear out the fireplace, which can be done by opening these windows. However, you can move your bandit towards the freezer wall and bandit trick these, again trying to waste as much EMP as possible. You can use even the prepped claw and the bandit charge from the other wall to bandit trick the freezer. Pros A solid defense as well as very flexible with huge ammo of information. You have jammers to take the information, the global shield to enable your aggression as well as the pulse to give you live information. You can also deny the both pushes. Cons. No Jaeger. Possibly Ben Jaeger. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any feedback, let me know down in the comment section below. If you would like to support me, drop me a like, subscribe and click the notification bell not to miss any video from my channel. Make sure to join my Discord server and to follow me on Twitter.